Before working on any website for the first time, you should define a site in Dreamweaver that will allow you to control all aspects of working with that site. Dreamweaver is designed to build websites, not just web pages. Site management is tied into everything that Dreamweaver does. Without defining a site, Dreamweaver can't resolve links, check related files, or help you manage your assets. Although there are a lot of options when defining your sites, you can make it relatively pain-free. Now, the first thing I want to show you is how many different places in Dreamweaver you can actually define a new site. If you go over to the Files panel, for example, you can click on Manage Sites, and it'll show you any of your active sites. If you don't have any, or even if you just want to create a new one from here, notice we have a button that says New, and you could go ahead and choose that. If I go up to the menu, I have Site, and here's New Site right from there. And if I go over to the Application Toolbar, I notice that in my Quick Access icons, I can click on Site, and I can choose New Site from there as well. Another location is in our Welcome screen. So if we don't have a file currently open and our Welcome screen is visible, notice that I can go down and Create New and click on Dreamweaver Site. So it doesn't really matter where you do this from. You'll always get the same dialog box. So I'm going to click New Dreamweaver Site and up comes my site definition dialog box. Now this comes in two tabs. We have basic and advanced. Both of these give you pretty much the same options. Advanced does have some options that basic doesn't have. Basic is more of a wizard-like approach. So it's just gonna ask you some questions and sort of walk you through the process. So here it says, what would you like to name your site? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and name my site Groundswell. Now, after that, it says, well, what's the HTTP address of your site? Well, I don't know that. Well, a lot of what you're doing when you define a site is optional. Now, let's take a look at some of our other options, and let's switch from the Basic tab to the Advanced tab. Even though I was already entering up some information, you'll notice that by clicking on the Advanced tab, it went ahead and filled that in for me. So it just says Groundswell right there. Now, the first thing that Dreamweaver wants to know in the Advanced section after you name your site is where the local root folder is. So if you remember, the root folder is the folder that contains your website somewhere on your hard drive, or if you're working in a shared environment, it might even be on a server. So I'm gonna click the browse icon just beside local root folder, and I'm gonna browse out to my desktop. And here I can find the chapter three folder that I've copied over to the desktop. So that was copied from my exercise file. So I'm gonna double click to select that. On the Mac, you'll highlight that folder and you'll hit the choose button on the PC, open the folder up and then choose select. Okay, now, from here on, everything else is optional. Default images folder, optional. Whether I want to make links relative to document or site root, the default is document, I'm going to leave it that way. HTTP address, I don't know, so I'm not going to enter it. Caching, I'm going to make sure caching is enabled. Now, what that does for you is it'll run through all the files that are already in that folder. So if it's a totally empty folder, this won't matter. But if your folder already has some files in it, like ours does, it'll cache them up and make everything available for use right now. Believe it or not, that's it. All those are the categories on the left-hand side, like remote info, where you're choosing exactly how you're gonna access your remote site and upload those files. Testing server, in case you're using like Cold Fusion or ASP and you wanna specify a testing server so it can test those pages. All those things, they're optional. And since we don't have that information right now, we're not gonna put anything. We're just gonna leave them alone. Sticking with the local info, I've named my site Groundswell and I've chosen where my local root folder is on my hard drive. That is really all I have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Dreamweaver is gonna take a moment to cache everything up for me, and then over in the Files panel now, I can see here's my Groundswell site, and I have access to all those files and folders. As you can see, defining a site in Dreamweaver is an easy but necessary step required for the start of any new project. You can give Dreamweaver all the site information at the very beginning of the project, or as we've done here, you can wait and define things like remote information at a later date. That's certainly helpful if you don't have those settings when you're first starting out.